with me as I'm driving down the highway. Driving with John. <laughs> I know I can't sing. I gotta entertain myself somehow, right? Woo! I'm a dork. I'm a dork. Driving with John is coming through! Good morning. This is day four of my daily vlog. I am picking up a load in New Jersey, heading to Dunn, North Carolina. Um, I am picking up in New Jersey this morning and I start running down to Dunn tonight. So that will be one whole vlog. And I will take some road footage as I can and some load footage and whatever I can. Um, if there's anything in these vlogs that you think I'm missing out on that I should be putting information in there, make sure you throw it in the comment section. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I'm actually kind of enjoying the vlogs. I didn't think I was going to, but I'm kind of enjoying it. So this is my view from the rest area that I'm in. Um, I'm about ready to start rolling. So just thought I'd show you a different perspective. Oh, and one more thing. Do me a huge favor. If you have not subscribed to my channel, go down and subscribe, ring the bell, hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate it, guys. Y'all are awesome. Let's get this vlog rolling. See you on the next clip. Hey, everybody. So I decided to take 287, so I didn't have to deal with a mess on 95 around New York. And see what I ran into? It's just the life of a trucker, I'll tell you. You try to, you know, drive a couple extra miles to save a couple of hours of time, and you end up sitting in traffic anyway. So... <laughs> I figured I'd include this on my vlog today because you know what this is true to life this is how it works um, you don't always get ahead when you're trying to make time by taking a you know alternative route to uh, miss a bunch of traffic I'm guessing there's an accident up ahead if there is I'll try to get some footage um, I'm only guessing that because an ambulance just went up the side of the road heading that way that you I do have my TV on right now. I've yet to hear any chatter on there. Find out what's going on or how long this backlog is. So just thought I'd jump on here real quick, let you guys get a, uh, a sight of what I'm looking at, which is a lot of brake lights and uh, the reason why I ended up here. <laughs> so I don't really like doing uh, 95 right by New York City. It ends up Every time I go through there, I lose two to three hours um, just from traffic, unless it's the middle of the night. But obviously it's not the middle of the night, so I was trying to save some time, drive it, it was a couple extra miles, but save a whole ton of time. Um, this route hasn't saved me as much time as I thought. I've already lost about, already lost about an hour um, on my, uh, my trip. All lanes are shut down. I think you just said there's an accident and all the lanes are shut down. No, Northbound said that all lanes were shut down. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, see, this is the kind of stuff we go through as truckers. I don't know if you can hear the CB or not, but he said um, they're saying all lanes are shut down on uh, 287 South. So, looks like I'll probably be sitting here a while. Ah, oh, the life of a trucker, I'll tell you what. One thing doesn't get you, something else will. So. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Tried to save a little bit of time, that's what's happened. I don't know what's going on up here, but uh, like I said, if I can get any footage, I will. I'll talk to you guys on the next clip. Meanwhile, I'm going to sit here and listen to some radio or something. Oh, there goes a tow truck and a cop car or some other kind of emergency vehicle. So, all right, guys, uh, see you on the next clip. All right, so it looks like I'm starting moving it again. Um, I'm just going to throw it on record here. Oh, and these people drive like idiots. I hate to be like that, but man, I don't, know, I don't know if you could see it, the Jeep off to the right it was trying to cut in on me there, even though there was no room there. 
for him. He was still trying to do it. Uh, the far left, the far right lane is closing. Um, naturally, that's how the highway is set up. And all these people took that lane all the way to the end before they started getting over. Could have gotten over a long time ago. But, you know, they're waiting until now and it's going to be a hold up because of that too. So I jumped over one lane so I got out of that mess. According to the CV, the chatter on the CV was, I guess somebody hit a deer and had a bunch of other cars were trying to avoid that. And hit each other and kind of just made a mess of the highway. So I'm kind of curious. <laughs> I'm kind, of, kind of curious when I get up here to find out what it looks like because uh, that sounds like a chaotic event to me. So, have you heard the CB? They were just saying the road's clear now. Yeah, I'm not even going to tell you what he just said. If you heard him, you heard him. If you didn't, you didn't. There goes another ambulance. And there goes a the car up the shoulder. There you go. There you go. You got to see that guy coming right up. Not a lot of turn signal or anything. He just decided I'm coming over and I'm not even telling you about it. These people. Oh, if they only knew how much chaos they can cause by doing these stupid things. This is this is where it gets crazy and dangerous for uh, a truck driver because you got all these people cutting all around and cutting in front of you and just doing stupid things to get five seconds ahead. It really doesn't get them any any further ahead. Just stay in your lane, guys. You'll get there. <laughs> I got swerved over and swerved. He went all the way from the left lane to the right lane. Like, just go, go, go. No turn signals. <sighs> we live in by Jersey rules up here. We can only use a turn signal once a half to you. I don't know why I'm using Southern accent. <laughs> Sometimes I'm an idiot, guys. Sorry. We having fun yet? Come on, guys. I know y'all are having fun sitting in traffic. You love it. Woo! Gotta love me some traffic. Said nobody ever. So we're about to find out what the mess is. I got that feeling. We're about to find out. This video is going to be highly edited because there's a lot of blank spots in here. Oh, I guess a vlog should, should also include this kind of stuff, right? You know, the kind of crap that we go through every day accidents and stupid drivers, stupid four-wheelers. I mean, I'm not saying all four-wheelers are bad drivers. I'm not saying that at all. I know a lot of really good drivers that drive four-wheelers. But man, I see it every day. Either people aren't trained properly on how to drive or they just don't care about their car or yours or truck. So, I see some dumb um, semi drivers out there too so not that I ain't ever made a dumb mistake in my life but come on guys this many mistakes you know it's, it's, they're doing it more than once a lot of times so I'm guessing this is the accident right here oh look everybody's waiting the last minute to get over just like, I, just like I said there's that guy in the jeep from earlier that tried to cut me off oh wow, wow. Yeah, there you go. You know, there's nothing like making a bad situation worse by driving like an idiot. I, I don't know if you can see it, but right here on my right, there's a white car 
she was coming over long before I stopped. If I didn't stop, there'd have been a dent in my fender. Now I got another guy next to me over here on my right. Is he gonna try to hurry up and cut in? Or is he gonna get behind me? That's his, that's his two choices. So, actually I think he's backing off and gonna get behind me, so. Kudos to him. never goes nothing ever goes as planned because of all that traffic that you saw me in this morning I got an eight hour sleeper break now I'm at the shipper and I have to wait here two hours to make sure that I reset my clock before I can start driving because I have almost 500 miles to drive tonight and I need every minute of that so I'll check in back with you in about two hours when I'm getting loaded but uh, so I made it to the shipper and all is good um, other than that chaotic morning where I lost all those, I drove a hundred and, I think it was 147 miles and it took me over five hours. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, talk to you in a bit. It's now leaving the shipper. It's now nighttime as you can see. So I did my two hour sleeper while I was waiting for the load to get ready. And now I'm heading out. So, uh, I got uh, around 500 miles to go tonight. So I'll be driving until morning, basically. Maybe I'll take some road footage. Um, if I do, I'm gonna throw it right in here with some really corny, weird music. <laughs> See you on the next clip. Right, driving with John's got tunnel game, baby. Hey, F8, throwing it out to you. I got tunnel game, I got bridge game, I got traffic game, I got game going on like crazy in my video. Where's your game, man? Where's your game? You guys don't know F8 or bait trucking? Go check him out. Awesome guy. I like competing with him, but he says he's got Reaper game. Well, I've had Reaper game in the past. But now I got all kinds of games. So, as you saw in this video, I've got bridge game, <laughs> bridge game, tunnel game, traffic game, I-95 game, up I-95 game. I just got game. I'm not a player, but I got all kinds of game. <laughs> uh, gotta have fun, guys. So, this is a tunnel. John's still got game. 
traffic game. <laughs> yeah, just leave them in Washington DC area and there's some construction. So as you can see, I'm just uh, putting along pretty slow right now. This is gonna be an interesting vlog with all kinds of traffic issues and timing issues and all kinds of stuff like that. Probably gonna take a lot of editing to get all this into one video. All right, I appreciate you watching. Um, probably gonna throw in a time lapse and then you can watch the traffic jam clear up and then hopefully that will, should be it for this trip until you see me at my destination. So that load is now completed. I did a split or a relay, whatever they want to call it. Um, I have some numbers I just came up with on my own here. Um, basically, it was a total of 637 miles. Um, took 13.25 hours to run that. Now that's because the first 147 miles took me five hours of all the traffic that you saw in the video there um so i wanted to uh give you guys a basic idea of if you're a company driver and you're making so much per mile how much does that mean for you and did you make in that day so today if i made 50 cents a mile i would have made 318 dollars and 50 cents which roughly works out to actually about $24 an hour. Um, estimated would have been much higher because of that traffic. My estimated probably would have been about $31 an hour. If you make 60 cents a mile, then it's $382, which would have worked out to about $28 an hour with an estimated 36. If you ran at 65 cents a mile, it would have been $414, would have been roughly about $31 an hour, estimated around $41. So you lost $10 an hour in that traffic on that one. If you run $0.70 cents a mile, then you're talking your, your pay for that day would be $445.90. It's about $34 an hour, and it's roughly around $44 estimate. And finally, if you ran 75 cents a mile, honestly, if you're brand new guys, you're not getting 75 cents a mile. But if you're not brand new, this is very possible. Um, you're gonna get $477.75 for that day, roughly $36 an hour. Really should have been around $48 an hour without traffic, so. So basically, those are the numbers on this load. Um, I run over them real roughly. Uh, I deadheaded for 147 miles to pick up a load to drive it about 500 miles. So altogether it's what, 640-ish miles, 647 miles, sounds about right. Um, and those are all estimates on running either averaging 55 miles per hour or 60 miles per hour, okay? But on this load, this particular load, um, like I said, the first part took five hours to go 147 miles. The second part took um, 8.2, 8.25, eight hours and 15 minutes um, to run around 500 miles. So definitely a, a big difference. First one was about an, about an average of 30 miles per hour and the second leg of the trip was an average of about 60 miles per hour so you can see a big difference there um, but all together that all averages out to it's 13 hours and 15 minutes roughly um, works out to roughly about 48 miles per hour 
So I ran that load at 48 miles per hour as my average. Now, that's a lot of numbers I'm spitting out there, but whatever numbers fit you, that's what you want to pay attention to. And if you're a brand new truck driver, you're going to want to focus on about 50 cents a mile. I mean, you might be able to squeak out 60, but um, I'm, I'm just being straight with you guys. If you're making 50 cents a mile, that load would have been about $318. So if you could run, which you're not going to run three, um, 637 miles a day, but if you could, you could make $318 a day until you run out of time, which wouldn't take long. <laughs> so there you go, guys. That's the numbers on the load. Again, this was going, I, I, I um, was up in Connecticut and I deadheaded down to New Jersey to pick up a load and then drove that load from New Jersey down here to North Carolina. So that's the long and the short of the trip today, guys. I appreciate you joining, joining in, guys. Hey, if this kind of stuff interests you, you know, just do me a favor. You know, if you like trucking vlogs or you like knowing these numbers, then make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, give me a thumbs up, comment. Any, any of that support would definitely help my channel and I'd really appreciate it. And if you ring the bell, you'll get notified whenever I post a video. So that's a good thing. <laughs> so, hey, uh, thank everybody for watching. All my trucking buddies out there, keep that rubber on the road. Keep those tires turning and stay right side up. To all of my non-trucking buddies, subscribers, followers out there, hey, remember one very important thing. Us truckers, we're people too. See you in the next video.